Welcome back to this week's episode of EVTV. I'm Franco. And I'm Langston. Hey Langston, what day is it today? I have no idea, Franco. The sign out front of Eagle Valley is missing and there's no way to tell the time or the day. For a deeper look inside of the mystery of the missing sign, we go to Emily and Jack. Notice that the sign is missing? Well, we all want to know what happened to the sign. So let's get to the investigation. I kind of feel like it was hit by a car, like the car ran off the road when it was super icy and broke the sign. I think someone stole it. I think, I don't want to be that person, but I think Battle Mountain, I think it's the rivalry. They took the sign. That some kids came at night with a pickup truck and stole the sign. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I took it. Probably to hang it up in their bedroom so when they have people over, they're like, look at this sign that I stole. Cause you know how kids will steal like road signs, like road work ahead and steal them and put them in their bedroom? I said, someone did that with that sign. You know, I don't know. I, if I had to guess, would say that Jack Vito definitely stole it. Uh, he probably came and just took it and has it hanging in his room or something because he's a straight menace. I think Battle Mountain took it because <laughs> they're just jealous of our school and their sign's not as cool as ours, so I think that, that's why they took it. They probably um, got their, like, their trucks and like pulled the sign with rope or something. I don't know. They're just jealous of us. Yeah, I took it. Well, me and old Jackson Bob Gardner hooked their trucks up to it and pulled it out. We are back here at the crime scene of the missing sign. We still only have two suspects, one of them being Hudson and the other one being Justice. Over here, we have Hudson's truck, which is right by the crime scene. And it's not looking too good for him. He has this thingy where he could tie a rope and pull it, which he did say he did do. But at the end of the day, we still have little to no evidence, and the mystery of the missing sign just may never get solved. Who makes the best nachos here at Eagle Valley? We find out on this week's episode of Devil's Kitchen with Jordan and Jack. Welcome back to the Devil's Kitchen. Today, we're inside the foods class, and today they're making chicken nachos, so let's get into it. So right now, uh, we are collecting our mise en place, which means they're gathering all their equipment and their ingredients, and they're gonna have it at their stations. Um, and then with everything that we have, we're gonna be making nachos today. How are you grading them based off this assignment? Uh, for this assignment, it's really just a lot of practice to get a lot of knife skills going. Um, so there's not really going to be a grade on that. Uh, I do grade them a little bit on their cleaning. Uh, that way we keep a nice, tidy kitchen. Um, yeah. So if I came in here and just burned all of the chicken, I could still get a passing grade? For today, yeah. What temperature are you looking for in this oil? 350. What is it at now? 337. That is some great technique of laying the chips in the oil. There you go. You're on it today. Try it. It is burnt. About second batch. <laughs> Very hot. Hey, that's not my best. I'll have to leave that. came by earlier when you started the chips. How are the chips coming along? Really good. Very good. I see you have some salt already in the pan before you drop the chips in there. That's just stuff that fell off that way. Oh, so that's not some special technique? No, no. Perfect. All right, so I, I have a nacho joke. I was wondering if I can run it by you. Yeah. What do you call your taco ex-boyfriend? Mm, I don't know. Nacho boyfriend. Oh! I see over here that you're uh, playing with this chicken. Yeah. Can you explain to me what you're doing? I'm playing with the breast. A little more than that. Oh, yeah. Um, put the seasoning on it. Oh. All right. It's better be some good chicken, well seasoned, okay? Yeah. I'm going to come back and check on this chicken. Okay. What's going on right now? Why? Why? You're not supposed to check. You're supposed to take the chicken broth and put the chicken broth. Is this your chicken you're cooking right here? Uh, no, this is uh, her chicken. 
Alright, personally, what would you rate her chicken cooking skills right now? I would like a solid 7.5 out of 10. Would you eat the chicken? I would definitely eat the chicken. Alright, I, I just heard that you're, you're the one making this chicken right here. How's it coming out so far? Coming out pretty good, not gonna lie. And I thought it was gonna fail. Why'd you think that? I don't know. I haven't cooked chicken like this before. So. Awesome. Well, so far it looks good. It smells good, okay? You got it. So you started the cooking the chicken. How long are you going to cook the chicken for? Uh, four minutes on each side. Four minutes on your side? Yeah. Is that going to give us a nice little pink belly? Just kidding. That's raw. Better not have raw chicken. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Okay. So earlier, you helped point out that they messed up their chicken. They were doing it wrong. How, how, come in, watching from another group, are you glad that you're not working with these two? Yeah. Yeah? Perfect. There was a group of people behind a restaurant messing around with chips. They looked at you and said, that's not your business. <laughs> what do you want from me right now? <laughs> a laugh? That was a good joke. Try it again. Let's try it again. Can we roll to the top? Roll to the top yeah. here? I'll try to laugh this time. What would you rate the music? I can't really hear it, but it's like... It's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Do you like cooking to this kind of music? I mean, no. no. I'd, I'd rather listen to Bad Baby. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What do you What do you rate the music choice over here? Solid 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10? Yeah. If you were on Ox right now, what kind of music would you be playing? Alvin and the Chipmunks. Respectable. Uh, probably Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba? Yeah, that right Push and P. Push and P, there we go. That's valid. I miss some wire. I've, I've asked some people about the music choice, and it's not some of their favorites. Why are you still playing this music? Because nobody says anything to me. Fair enough. I have to do a taste test over here. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. Let's just get one of the chips on the outside. A little bit of chicken in there. Oh. That is a solid nacho right there. What would you rate it out of 10? Out of 10? Maybe use a little more salt, but I give that a 9.2 out of 10. That is a fire nacho. I would eat that again. Thanks for watching this week's episode of EVTV. See you next week.